The golden age of comics began June 1938 with the first appearance of the alien superhero Superman. There were 18 different comics on the newsstands, cover dated June 1938. The first appearance of Superman is also considered the first superhero comic and therefore the beginning of the golden age of comics as seen in Action Comics Number 1. June 1938. It was published on April 18, 1938 by National Allied Publications, which would later be known as DC Comics, considered the first true superhero comic. And though today Action Comics is a monthly title devoted to Superman, it actually began, like most early comics, as an anthology of different strips and genres. Action Comics was started by publisher Jack Leibowitz. The first issue had a print run of 200,000 copies, which promptly sold out, although it took some time for National to realize that the Superman strip was responsible for sales of the series that would eventually reach a million a month. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster were paid $10 per page for a total of $130 for their work on this issue. Leibowitz would later say that selecting Superman to run in Action Comics No. 1 was pure accident based on deadline pressure and that he selected a thrilling cover depicting Superman lifting a car over his head. Jack Leibowitz signed a check on March 1, 1938 from Detective Comics made payable to Jerome Siegel and Joe Schuster. Both of the creators' names were spelt incorrectly. The check in the amount of $412 includes an accounting of the items being paid for. At the very top is Superman, $130. Next is the payment for the June 1938 Detective Comics at $210. Following that are payments of $36 each for Adventure Comics and More Fun. It would also appear that DC used this check as evidence in their 1939 lawsuit against Victor Fox. Superman was instantly popular, possibly due to the shocking, unbelievable cover of the first issue. Superman would appear in each issue but would not appear on the cover again until issue number 7. Sales were growing though due to popularity and a readers poll after a few months found 80% of readers chose Superman as their favorite strip in Action Comics. In the very first comic book price guide, in 1965, the 10-cent comic was listed with a value of $50, unheard of at that time when the comics collectibles market was just starting. The first Overstreet price guide in 1970 listed it as the most valuable comic ever at $300. In every annual Overstreet guide, the price would rise and rise and rise. Only once did it fall to second place in the late 80s, but otherwise is always ranked as the most valuable comic book of all time. On August 24th, 2014, a copy graded 9.0 by CGC was sold on eBay for $3.2 million. It is the only comic book so far to have sold for more than $3 million. Action Comics would go on to run for 904 issues up until the year 2011, when the series was restarted. There is a Billy Wright pedigree copy of this historic issue. The cover features Superman with art by Joe Schuster. There is a one-page introduction story of Superman written by Jerry Siegel as Jerome Siegel with art by Joe Schuster and gives us the introduction of Superman and his origin. It is first reprinted in Secret Origins number one from DC in 1973 and then in famous first edition in 1974, treasury sized. The strip was originally prepared for newspaper publication, cut up and repaged. Next we have an 11 page story which goes into further detail of the Superman character written and drawn by the team of Siegel and Schuster. Here we have the first appearances of Clark Kent, George Taylor, Lois Lane, Daily Star, Evelyn Curry, B. Carroll, Butch Matson, Senator Barrows and Alex Greer. This story is first reprinted in Superman number no. one in the summer of 1939, and the story continues into Action Comics number no. two. The story was originally prepared for newspaper publication, cut up and repaged, most probably by Joe Schuster. Vince Sullivan, Sheldon Mayer, and Harry Lampert are often cited as having done the paste up work based on their own claims. Let's analyze what we learn about Superman in this historic first issue. Superman was inserted into a rocket ship as an infant by his father and sent to Earth from an unnamed planet that was being destroyed from old age. The baby is found in the ship and found by a passing motorist who turned the child over to an orphanage. They discovered the baby had amazing strength and could lift heavy items. As an adult, now named Clark Kent, he could leap great lengths, 
hurdle a 20-story building, run faster than an express train. Kent came from a planet whose inhabitants' physical structure was millions of years advanced. In his first adventure, he leaves a woman outside near a tree tied up and gagged. He goes to see the governor, but is not very diplomatic in his approach. He grabs the butler and carries him up the stairs. The governor's bedroom door is made of steel, which Superman breaks through. The butler pulls out a gun and shoots Superman in the chest. Superman gives the governor papers on releasing a prisoner about to face electrocution. The next morning, wearing hat and glasses, reporter Clark Kent sees the paper about the released convict and is happy there is no mention of Superman. The unnamed editor of the Daily Star newspaper asks Clark Kent if he has heard of Superman. Reports are out about the character already. Clark Kent is sent to a residential address about a wife beating. When he gets there, the man is beating his wife. Superman aggressively lifts the man and violently throws him hard against the wall. The man stabs Superman in the chest, but the blade breaks, and the man faints. We meet Lois Lane for the first time, typing at her desk at the Daily Star. Clark Kent asks her for a date, and this time, she says yes. Later that evening, they are out dancing, when the mobster Butch Matson tries to cut in, but Lois slaps him in the face. Kent doesn't want to fight, so Lois storms off. On the road, Butch forces Lois's taxi to stop, and they take her against her will. With Lois in the car, they drive off, but Superman is standing in the middle of the road. He leaps over the car before they hit him. Superman lifts the car, shakes it upside down, and until everyone falls out before he smashes the car. Superman hangs Butch Batson at the top of a telephone pole. Lois is startled as Superman lifts her and carries her back to the city. Clark Kent takes a train to Capital City to check up on Senator Barrows. Superman climbs the wall of his high-rise apartment. Superman confronts Alex Greer, the corrupt lobbyist, and grabs him by the foot as they leap through air. Superman plans to take him to the Capitol building, but the strip ends with him missing his step. And so begins the startling adventures of the most sensational strip character of all time, Superman. This historic issue also features Zetera, Master Magician, a 12-page story written and drawn by creator Fred Gardiner. This adventure story features the first appearance of Zetera and Tong. It is first reprinted in Famous First Edition, 1974, Treasury from DC Comics. And this is the first appearance of this character, who would go on to run in many following issues. Pep Morgan is found in a four-page story written by Gardner Fox, art also by Fred Gardiner, featuring the characters Pep Morgan and Pop Burkett. And this is next reprinted in Famous First Edition in 1974, Treasury Sized. Scoop Scanlon, Five Star Reporter, is a six-page story from artist Will Eli. And it is reprinted in Famous First Edition, Treasury Sized, C26 from 1974. Tex Thompson is a 12-page story, possibly written by Ken Fitch, with art by Bernard Bailey, and features the first appearance of Tex Thompson. This is also reprinted in Famous First Edition in 1974. Stardust is a one-page cartoon. It's a non-fiction featuring movie stars such as Fred Astaire, Constance Bennett, Charles Boyer, and the comedy team of Wheeler and Woolsey are provided in this illustrated filler. It is also reprinted in Famous First Edition in 1974. Odds and Ends is a one-page story drawn by Sheldon Moldoff. This is featured in the inside back cover and reprinted in Famous First Edition in 1974. It is an oversized comic, so many collectors have accidentally or sneakily sold the treasury size as the original first printing. 